Okay, welcome back, everybody. What an exciting end of the week here. Uh, what a great week here. And it was just really great. We did the annual member intensive over the three days. And of course, I got to, uh, people got to watch me do live trade right on the screen, tell why I was getting ready to set up a trade, what I was looking for, follow through the execution, follow through the exit, and then also talk about different ways as a confident trader to enter and then a cautious trader. All my live account was great stuff. So as we carry into the end of the week, then I got to go ahead and uh, go back to my you know, private trade trading here because other members were carrying on the annual event and uh, you know, got to fire off multiple trades here even you know into later in the session on uh, Friday because we end up having a really nice run of it. So as we go ahead and we take a look here as the market's now closed up on the cash session we just got the futures open here and you'll notice we got our first you know area here we're starting to get back to some key areas that are potentially going to break out and so we're going to be watching this very closely. I'm looking now to see can we get up above this area can we fire off off some buy signals and start to go ahead and take off to the upside. So I'm be watching this very close. We have a one day, you know, one day doesn't make a trend. We still have, you know, like I said, some channeling to the downside of the backdrop, but now we have this technical damage. So I'm not as concerned about this downtrend. And that's why I was willing to fire off the long side trades. The hourly was up, the five minute was up, the one minute chart was up. And I talked to you guys the other day about the multi time frame analysis there. You know, that's exactly the kind of thing I was looking for, right? And I told you that. So you know, with that being said, you know, that's great stuff. I, there's been a couple of other updates people have been asking me for. So I just want to give you updates on a few other things. The uh, first of all, crude oil, right? We talked about crude oil quite some time ago and it was, it was breaking back down here. And, you know, I told you as far as I'm concerned, I'm just not bullish on crude oil at this point. Look, there's a lot of reasons why uh, crude oil could go up with supply chain shortages. We're going into, you know, a, a political crisis here, further into a political crisis, into the colder season and everything else. You know, Diesel inventories are low. There's a lot of things, you know, are you know could be an issue here. But in the short term, we're you know, we have a you know a buy zone that kind of kicked in here, but we still have a couple major layers of just resistance right above us here. And so those are going to be areas where people are trapped and and can form resistance on the way up. So I'm going to want to really get above a couple of those before I get too awful excited. Crude oil, from my perspective personally, is more of a day trade right now than a you know a position trade as as many people found out the hard way is you know they were sitting underwater going down into the 70s and a lot of people got spooked out as evidenced by a lot of these big red bars here when they couldn't take it anymore now it's starting to shore up a little bit of a sport we'll see if we can catch more of a bid and turn into a little bit more of a buy but in the short term here i'm still not willing to do it with this immediate overhead resistance as far as gold that was another one i you know, again i know i got a lot of gold bugs mad at me and look i'm just talking about what i see on the charts it takes all the emotion out of it so you know what's happening of course we got a lot of sell signals in your gold here for quite some time and so sure enough you know we're, we're still down quite a bit there over these last you know several months and you know we were talking about that so same kind of thing here we don't we haven't even attempted to break back above here you know immediately this immediate past you know for the buy side and the last time we tried to do that here it immediately failed didn't really fire off the continuation buy signals and so it just rolled right back over broke back down below and continued to go down so until we can go ahead and actually get back up there were some buy zones and I'll show you a little bit about what they'll look like you know in you know some upcoming training it still is you know to the sell side so I just wanted to make sure you guys you know had the updates on a couple of things that you guys have been asking about and like I said just looking at it strictly technically not emotionally you know based on what should be happening with the world we're living in so what we're you know the, the, to that point here again like I said my focus was on long side trading you can probably see why here again the hourly chart the five minute chart the one minute chart we're all up the daily chart was breaking above resistance here and it when it pulled back it held as the market was trying to you know have a little bit of a rising support here so even to the daily chart there was a little bit of bullishness showing and so it just looked good and so that's why i was focusing on multiple long side trades and that was great so one of the things I've been also hearing a lot when I did like the annual member intensive the other day, we have a lot of new students that joined us as annual members of Wealth Charts after the last Wealth 365 Summit and a special event that we did. And so I received a lot of questions. And, and what I noticed here, especially after people getting to watch my live trading on the screen and you know how they saw my confidence, how you know I was doing it. And so people are asking me, how am I finding those opportunities? How am I planning the entries? How am I managing the risk? They have me 
review all of that you know with them because for brand new people obviously there was a lot to learn so I spent hours going in going through that after I went in and did the live trading there and so it, what I want you to do is I, I'm going to put kind of repeat some of that that I did last week sorry Wednesday here this week so you know, join me at an upcoming event because what you know, I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a specific event for all of you in the public because I understand there's, there's some people that don't have confidence they fear the market they don't respect it and they don't have confidence with the market they're cautious and concerned and so what I want to do is teach you some specific setups and strategies that I'm employing using my most powerful indicator indicators and in innovative scanners and then you know what I'll do is I'm going to walk you through that process step by step so you can see how I identify potential trading opportunities I validate them and then plan the entries and exits with the help of the you know culmination of my life's work so if you've been sitting on the sidelines watching the trading opportunities passing by then this session is really going to go ahead and be for you so I'm literally going to teach you in ways I've never taught before so if you're used to coming to some of my events at different times because you're used to me teaching certain ways you're going to want to make sure you come in and spend the entire time there because I'm going to be actually doing everything out of order of what I normally do because I found a really great way to go ahead and you know try to walk you through this whole process so it's a way I've never done publicly so you're again I, I was doing it in my annual member group and that inspired a lot of great dances and so what I want you to do is join me here this coming Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern it will not be recorded for, for the public and so come 7 p.m. Eastern there 6 p.m. Central 4 p.m. Pacific time you're gonna want to come to this event and I'm gonna walk through those steps like I said in ways I've never done it before so if you've ever been to my presentation before be like wow this is different this is pretty cool and so you know I, I love perfecting these things and that in membership gave me an opportunity to do that so I want you guys to go ahead go to become a better trader.com forward slash go become a better trader.com forward slash go get yourself registered I'll be with you Wednesday afternoon we'll be going through some of my live trading that I've done here and some of the things I do you know leading up to the event on Wednesday and to put in real dollar you know terms of what I'm doing on my live account and then also go ahead and to give you ways to learn these things whether you're a confident trader or and want to take it to another level or you're a cautious trader and looking to get on a better level in the first place so I'm going to be focusing on all of those different things with that special training okay so have a wonderful rest of the weekend going into Monday like I said I'm going to see if that bullishness can follow through we'll look at those hourly charts and those five and one minute charts there on the intraday basis also we've got other ways to look at swing trades here too so we'll kind of walk through some of the great setups that are happening in swing trades these days you know try to keep you up to date on some of those in other avenues like the well 365 summit and everything else and so we're going to walk through this whole process of identifying these opportunities because there's definitely some big ones out there in this current market environment have a great rest of your weekend by the time you see this video i'll look forward to seeing you at the latest wednesday night and we'll look forward to seeing you then take care everyone bye-bye